Trisha and welcome to my channel. This is just another one of my weekend vlogs. It is Sunday and I decided that I wanted to have some nacho fries. So instead of putting chips in my nachos, I'm going to be using fries. I've actually already got some fries in the oven. And in front of me I have some of these thin sliced round tip steaks. It's beef. And I'm just going to cut it up into little little strips and put them in my pan here next to me and cook them off. This is not really a recipe, it's just going to be something super easy that I'm going to make. It's just my weekend vlog and it's just me chit chatting. Um, yesterday or Saturday was uh, one of those days that I was going to get a lot of things done, but we ended up just getting really one really big thing done. So a few weeks ago we were in San Antonio and I did a vlog of us at a Toyota dealership looking at trucks and so uh, we've been looking at them since we've gotten back home so we made a very important decision so let me show you hello everyone I am at Toyota in Harlingen this is the bird in Toyota and this is Isaac and he just sold us his beautiful Tacoma okay you can stop now <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> That's what we did yesterday. It was very exciting for us and my husband's very happy. Um, he's been wanting one for a, a while, but you know, he's trying to make his decision on what he really wanted and the best deal for him. Okay, so, uh, and of course, I thought it was really nice, so I was very happy. And we had a really good service at that place that we were at. So that made us extra happy. So yeah, when we were done with that, we were gonna go and get some other things. We still had a good amount of day to go. We could have done some more shopping. I was gonna get some more things to do my craft for tomorrow. I plan on doing a ghost and I have an idea of how I wanna make it. I've done it before, um, several times actually. Um, but we didn't go because we went to dinner right after we were so hungry and then um, we were just too tired afterwards and then the, after we ate we were you know how you get full after you like if you've been walking out or waiting around a lot and then you get hungry you're full and um you just you just basically don't want to do anything i think we went to target yeah we did go to target and we walked around a little bit of that and then we just just said let's just head over to the to the grocery store and we thought you know it's still early in the day we might get hungry later we, want, we, we might want dinner so when i got the ingredients to make these uh nacho fries but we weren't hungry so i decided okay i'll save that for sunday and i'll just vlog me making those chili what not chili fries because oh i do have some chili actually okay no but my, my husband will want this the the bistec and so I'm gonna make that to put on the nachos, the steak. Anyhow, um, I'm just cutting little strips like that. So that was our that was our day Saturday. We came home and we kind of took little naps. We're watching some videos and just just ended up taking little naps. And then that was it. That was the rest of our night. And here we are today, and again my Sunday kind of just kind of seemed to just go by so fast. It's also been kind of rainy these days, uh, but right now there's nice little sunshine outside. Found out one of my light bulbs were out. I thought the light behind me was out, but my husband had some really nice light bulbs, so I have some really nice light right now. And uh, I'm also um, trying to finish up our, our costumes. Uh, and last week I told you about um, a themed birthday party we're gonna go to 70s 80s or 90s and we chose the 80s and so uh, pretty much have all my costume my costume is pretty much complete I would say it's complete the way it is I just kind of want to add a couple of things but if I if I don't it'll be fine and my husband's as well so we've got that we've got some items that I ordered <laughs> I ordered from Amazon some stuff and we got that in so we're like really excited about that Okay, let me turn this on. I'm gonna put this in there. I think I need a little bit of olive oil, but I gotta wash my hands. All right, I poured some olive oil in there, but I feel like I poured too much, but that's all right. It'll be okay. And I'm just gonna use this now to grab these so I don't have to get my hands all meaty again. And then I can season this. There we go. And I'm not going to use my tongs to stir it, even though I have. But just in case I make that ugly scraping sound. 
hop, une bagarre. Ok, there we go. Okie dokie. Let's season these. I'm going to use salt and pepper like I always do. But I'm also going to use oh, a garlic powder. It's another seasoning that I always pretty much use. Then I'm also going to use some cumino. Cumino or cumin. And everything's pretty much ground. I don't have my big bottle of garlic, you guys. I haven't gone to Sam's to get my big giant container. So I just got this from my grocery store. Lovely. Oh, it smells good. Mmm, I love it. So I need a spoon. There we go. And I'm going to shred some cheese because I want some cheese in my nachos because you got to have cheese. I was tempted to buy, um, and I should have, you know that canned cheese? Um, when I was growing up, we'd go to the theater to go watch a movie. We would, like, it was like a dollar, dollar fifty to watch a movie. It was one of those, you know, like the movie had been out already for a month or two. And so I went to this one theater where it was, it was cheaper to watch it. So we would go, but at that theater that we went to here in downtown Arlington, it was called the Rialto. But they have the best nachos. Now I sh probably shouldn't say best nachos because I don't know how much how they were at the at the fancier theater. Uh, but the cinema is what it was called, something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, um, oh, my hands are itching. Is this something you're gonna get money? When your hands itch. I don't know if this is true or not, but anyway, um, yeah, we used to get these nachos from there. They're like a dollar also. It's like with three bucks. With three bucks, we could watch a movie, have nachos, and I would have them with jalapeno and, and a drink, like a Coke or a Dr. Pepper. So that's what I would get. And I, they use that, I can't even think of the brand of cheese, but it seems to be the one that they use at the, the theaters right now. They also make the the tortilla chips, but I can't think of it, what it is. It's just like canned cheese and you can pour it into, you know, like a slow cooker or something, that a little pot, you slowly warm it up, and then you would, it was like concentrated, you add a little bit of water in the can, and you pour that in there and mix it up. So then you created this cheese sauce. And I don't know, I kind of was having a little bit of a um, nostalgia and wanting that, but we had kind of like walked into other areas of the store where it was a little bit like I have to walk back to get that kind of cheese and I completely forgot so I ended up getting a block of cheese because it was nearby where I was. We were just passing by it and I grabbed it. That's lazy but see now I'm having to work and shred it first. So is it lazy in the end? So I don't really have a lot to chit chat about you guys. I'm making nachos. I've seen the, the nachos, like um, they've been advertising some for, I think, Taco Bell. What do they call Reaper nachos? Because they've got some sort of extra heat in them, like a certain chili or something in them. And I had wanted to try some some time ago, but then they weren't having them anymore, and then they brought them back. And I've been there, I didn't order them. I ordered something else, and I feel like I should have ordered them. But, then, and I've been thinking about it now, and we were then at a, at a place that we went to go have dinner on Friday, and they had taco fries. And I pretty much described them, and I was like, should I get that, get the burger, the fries? And I wanted the fries, but yet I ordered the burger. Why, why did I do that to myself? So yesterday when we were all like, we have to go somewhere where they have these fries. And we didn't, but when I ended up um, deciding, you know what, I'm just gonna make my own. So that's my story of my nacho fries. And I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna come back. And I'll have a mountain of cheese all 
shredded up. Okay, so I went ahead and I added some chili powder to my meat here. And it smells absolutely delicious. I wish you could smell this. And I didn't even look at the, the time that I put my fries in the oven. I didn't put a timer. If you ever do that, just stick things and you just kind of go by instinct. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I, I did some of the cheese and I still have a little bit left here. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off making more because I think that's a lot of cheese already. Uh, and so I decided I want some jalapeno. Now, I forgot to buy the... The jalapeno already sliced also in a little can, which would have been near the, the can of cheese and it might have hadn't been so... It wasn't so lazy, it was just really, really tired and my body gives up on me after a little bit, so that's my excuse. But anyway, I do have some fresh jalapeno, so I'm just going to chop up some jalapeno, throw it on one side. And I'm just going to be really careful because that will smoke up and I'll start choking, especially since it's right next to me. But if I cut away, it's because that happened. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's already kind of happening. Whew. Okay. I'm just going to put it on half because my husband doesn't care for, like, jalapenos like that. So, but he, he does like, uh, you know, I like, he likes spicy hot things, but he'll have the uh, salsa that I have, which I didn't take out. I'm going to get myself some water here. Be ready. Look, look, look. Oh, I have also my Cholula ready just in case I want to use that on my nachos. Okay, so let me chop up some onion now. Oh, I'm going to lower this. The, I had it on the high, which is 475 on this particular induction. Top, so top. I'm gonna lower to 350. Let me look at my fries. Ooh, they look good. I want them to be crispy, so I'm gonna wait a little bit more, and then I'll probably just turn it off and leave them in there a little bit. Or maybe I should turn it off now and leave them in there. I honestly don't remember when I put them in. I'm gonna go by the scent. Of course, the chili here has kind of killed my, or overtaken my ability to smell the fries, which they did smell good. I was already smelling them, they smelled good. So yeah, I've got my, my costume already ready, so I have this week to just put everything together, so I'm gonna go ahead and record what I'm doing so that then I'll have another video <clears throat> to put next weekend, which is where the party's going to be, but it's going to be on a Sunday, and it's going to be in the afternoon, so I don't know if I'll put up, if I'll be able to like to come home and be okay to, whatever, if I took any video there, um, to, um, I don't know what I'm saying, you guys. I don't know if I'll have a video of next week or if I'll save it to put it up the following weekend because you know like I said the party's gonna be and I want to get some a little bit of footage and the last time I did have a party um, there was music in there and there so and there's gonna be music here so what I'll do is I'll just uh, <coughs> set, last time I had the music because people were singing over the music and I want y'all to hear that but this time nobody's gonna be singing over music so I'll just dump that out and you just see like images <laughs> if people don't mind being in my in my video okay anyway so that's what I'm gonna do chopping up some tomatoes so I can put some fresh tomatoes on top I don't have any lettuce again the thing is it's been really difficult for me to like really buy like groceries for for us I can't quite get the the hang of just cooking for two of us and even though it's already been like two years you know well I mean I've I buy stuff and I cook just for the two of us but I should say you know you can't really get like a small amount of ingredients like lettuce for example 
if I buy a whole head of lettuce, that's just too much. And then we won't use it, and then it'll just go bad on me. And even though it's inexpensive, it's probably the better, better deal anyway. But then um, I buy the one that's already shredded in a little bag. But it ends up that that's, again, that's a little too much again for us. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And it's turned out, like, now I just go to the store to buy specifically to make something specific. Otherwise, whatever I have in my freezer. I don't buy like I used to, you know, when I used to go grocery shopping. I bought for the whole week, and that was that. And I got everything I needed. Now, uh, we end up, oh, you're gonna, before you get out of work, when you get out of work, you know, stop over at so-and-so and get this. Or I end up going to go get it. And then you end up spending more money that way. Does that happen to you? You end up spending more money if you, if you make a, like what you call small purchase trips to your grocery store than if you just buy for the whole week. For me, it seems like, I, <coughs> like it does because you get tempted to see other things or like just to get something, oh, that's quick. I can just heat that up. And it turns out that's even more expensive. I'm gonna turn this off now because it's cooked. That is cooked. Oh my goodness. <coughs> it's just the jalapenos, you guys. I'm gonna move this off. And I'm gonna put another pan on here because I'm actually gonna melt the cheese, make it like a little sauce. So I'm gonna get some milk, a little bit of butter. I'm not gonna make like a roux with flour and all that uh, to make my cheese sauce. I'm just gonna, gosh, I don't know what I felt here. I'm just gonna make some cheese, melt some cheese, but I, the way that I used to do it was just put a little bit of milk and that was it. But that's what I'm gonna do. Get a pan, I'll be back. All right, everyone, we're going to take a little intermission here. It's something really super cute. Look at this. <laughs> that's my grandson, Leo, and he sounds like he's growling, you know, because he's Leo, a little lion. So let me put this again for you guys. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd share that. Oops, <laughs> I hit play again. All right. Okay, I thought I'd just share that. I thought it was super cute. Uh, I'm gonna make my cheese sauce now. Let's turn this back on. Got some butter and some milk. Did I get a spoon to stir this? This is the only one I've grabbed. Oh, where's my napkins? Right here. Grab some of that. I'll just wipe this. I also took a little taste of the meat and it was delicious. Any little bit more and it would have been like really cooked, like overdone. So I'm glad I stopped it. I also stopped, I also turned off the oven so my fries are in there. So they're just gonna stay warm. And in this little pot, I put some mashed black beans that I had and add a little bit of water to get them a little bit more like a little liquidy sauce, kind of a bean sauce. So they'll pour over my my fries so I've got that going on here <clears throat> anyway uh, got this going let's get some butter in there I think it's probably getting hot here soon let me wait a little bit so I've got everything I didn't chop up the cilantro I figured I could just tear up little pieces when we're ready to serve it I've got my sour cream because I'm gonna put sour cream on mine and I've got some salsa here to put on my husband's. And I also have a cholula. In case it's just one, it's super hot, you know. That's just the way I'm feeling right now. Um, I'm gonna add a little, not salt, but I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to my cheese sauce. Just a little bit. Okay, this is not even a tablespoon of butter, so. There we go, I think that's a tablespoon. Get that to melt in there. I need to give me like a little, I have bigger pots, you know, that I can make you know, like a soup or something in there, but I need to give me like a little pot that I can use on the induction oven. Cause that would have been perfect to do the, the beans up here and then melt this, do the cheese sauce. But what I've got here will work. Okay. 
turn that off, get it off the heat. I don't want the beans to burn. And I'll be back when this is melted. You know what, guys? It doesn't hurt to turn on your heat if you want something to burn, <laughs> to melt. It was warm and it was kind of melting because my induction top, you know, the actual part, of, not this part, but the actual here, still had a little bit of residual heat because I took off the other one and I put this pan on here immediately. So I warmed up the pan just a little bit. <laughs> but right, when I was doing this, I was realizing it doesn't seem to be getting hot. And yeah, I put my hand like that and I didn't feel any heat. And I realized it wasn't on. And that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there. I'm gonna add some milk to warm that up. And I'm glad this time I actually had milk because usually we just have the almond milk that my husband drinks. And you know what? I bought chocolate almond milk. It was actually pretty good, but it was good, but it's not like, like oh, I'm going to give myself a big tall glass of some chocolate milk and have it with something sweet. It wasn't good like that. It was good like, oh, let me taste that. And that's good. And then that's it. According to my opinion. <laughs> that's my opinion on it. But yeah, I served myself a big old glass. Of, not a, well, it was like a, like a glass of this full. And I, you know, I had already tasted before that. And I just drank a little bit. Mm, yeah, that's gonna be good. And I poured more to fill in what I had drunk, and went to sit down with. I don't know what I was having, you guys. It was some little pastry from, you know, little Debbie's or something. Oh, I know what I was having. Let me show you. This is what I was having. <laughs> little fall party cakes. They just had like a little bit of a chocolatey flavor. They didn't really have much. And they're like little, little packets of two. So I thought I'd have that with the chocolate milk. And I was like, mm. I didn't really enjoy it. I, I ate that, but I didn't drink all the milk. Okay, so my milk is bubbling some here. I'm going to go ahead and add this cheese. And I got, this is, um, I don't remember if I got medium or mild. I think I got the mild one. I, I like a sharp cheddar cheese, but I wanted that, that, you know, like, you know, when I got it, I, like I said, I was too lazy to go get a, that other cheese. So I kind of wanted that other cheese, the canned cheese flavor. And I thought, we're well, medium, but I think I grabbed a mild. Yeah, I grabbed a mild. I got a bag right here. I've shown you guys before. I have a plastic bag and I just throw everything in there and then dump it in the, and now I gotta wash my hands. This always happens. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, wash my hands. And let's stir this around before it burns on me. I love these pans because even if it was to burn, it would just peel right off. These are the Copper Chef. Oh, you guys, on Sundays, my husband and I, <clears throat> we always have like a really late breakfast, so it's basically brunch, you know, lunch. At 11 o'clock starts uh, QVC. We watch David in the kitchen. And that's usually when we end up ordering stuff. And they have some mugs, like a set of two mugs, and there were David in the kitchen mugs. And, you know, my husband liked them, so we got, we're gonna pick them in white. This is not making a cheese sauce like I want it. I'm gonna lower the temperature here. Anyway, so, yeah. We wanna order, but it keeps, like, the, the, uh, the, what do I want to call, what do I want to say? The site keeps like buffering and it slows down and it doesn't order your item and you have to start over again. So we ended up calling customer service. You know what I'm thinking? A lot of the liquid from the milk is just not wanting to mix here. So this might be a fail. Okay, it's gonna be cheese somehow. Okay, I'm gonna put this on very low. But anyhow, guys, we weren't able to order them. We just said, forget it. We don't need them. I think I'm going <laughs> to... This is not working out. 
my cheese sauce is not working out you guys it's funny because it's the way I always did it <laughs> and now it's not working for me it's just it's just melted cheese all over the place okay we're gonna throw that out we're gonna toss it out I'm just gonna use this oh you know what I think I have queso fresco I'm not really sure I'm gonna check and um, or maybe I'll salvage that somehow and my fries I'm gonna go ahead and take my fries out of the oven get everything ready We'll see what if I can salvage that or just shred some more cheese on top of my fries and stick them in the oven to melt. We'll see. I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know what I did wrong <laughs> in the past. So whatever I did, don't do it. Okay, so I just got this cheese and I thought maybe if I cut it up <laughs> with my knife, I could just put it on mine. That actually tastes pretty darn good. I'm just going to put it on my nachos. I'm not going to put it on my husband's. So I'm going to put this aside for a little bit. And I'm going to get my plates. And like a, a little pile here of fries. And when we went to this hamburger place, they give us these delicious seasoned fries. And they actually sprinkled them with uh, a little bit of queso fresco on them and a little bit of cilantro and they had a really nice nice flavor so what I'm going to do as you can see it's not a lot of well maybe it is okay a lot of fries is what I meant to say I didn't finish my thought okay so to that I'm going to put some cheese on this one, so, so I'm going to grate some nice pieces like this, just regular, with no milk or butter, nothing, no crazy stuff, just like that. And this will be for my honeys, like that, and I'm going to put this in the microwave just a tad. But some of mine too. Well, I actually have that other, those other pieces I said I put on mine. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in the microwave and melt that cheese. And then I'll put the meat and everything else that I want to put on it. Actually, I should have drizzled some beans on it. Let's do that. Get some beans in there. Oops. Make a mess. Don't be a mess like me. That. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in the microwave. Make mine next. Okay, so I've got this here so far. It just has beans, a little bit of cheese, and I'm gonna put some of this beef. I kind of want to break it up into smaller bits. Yeah, let's do that. I've got mine in the microwave now. These are smaller bits here, so just put those on there. Y'all are probably thinking, oh, you made some, some tacos and then you made some, you made a burrito. <laughs> and then, I don't know what I, what did I do last week? I don't even remember. I don't remember what else I've done at the top of my head right now. But I know it's been like all these like Tex-Mex kind of <laughs> food that probably all looks the same to you by now. But gosh, it's so good. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put, well, I'm gonna do it to mine too. What am I, what am I trying to get here? Okay, so I'm gonna put some Mexican queso fresco. Just crush it on top, I'll put lots of it because I know that he does like this cheese. Now I want to break up all that darkness from the beans and the beef. Okay. Like that. Let me break this little piece up a little more. And I'm going to put this in the microwave. Now, this queso fresco doesn't melt like... I actually eat that little piece. Okay. Queso fresco doesn't like melt all gooey and stuff. It just melts a little bit in itself. But it tastes really nice. Either cold or... But it tastes good, really, really nice when it's hot. So I was just giving it a little smell. Anyway, so this is going to go into the microwave. 
and then I'm going to put some other toppings. So let me grab mine. Finish that one up. All right, so I've got some uh, tomatoes, some onion, and some cilantro already poured onto this plate. Look at that. This is not what I poured, but sprinkled onto it. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so now I'm going to put some on mine. Some tomato. I felt like suddenly I felt like, am I missing? No. I'm missing the toppings. Okay, so some tomato. A little extras for the honey. Okay, some onions. I probably should have cut up some red onion. I think I have some, but oh well, I cut this one. I like red onion, like fresh. I don't know. I feel like the yellow or the white are a little bit more. You know, they they have more of that uh, biting flavor and the, the red onion. I don't know. Well, maybe a little milder. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. We just like red onions fresh. Anyway, that's on my plate now some cilantro. I'm going to cut up some avocado, you guys. Should have put that before the cilantro. The cilantro looks pretty sprinkled at the end over everything. Let me go ahead and get some now. I'll just use this knife. <laughs> I was clearing out stuff and got rid of my knife. Yay. Okay. I'm just going to go in there. Should I cube it or slice it? Let's, let's try something that's probably going to be a fail. Because I haven't done it in a, I haven't done it in a long time. Oh, 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 it's maybe working. There we go. Well, I don't want to... Here we go. Now you can just grab the little bits and put them on there. It's better to put them into a little... Put a little bowl underneath so it falls in the little bowl rather than all over. And I'm just going to use half the avocado. Half will go on mine, or a quarter will go on mine. Okay, time to clean up and make it look pretty. Like that, get some avocado on there. So for my honey, I'm gonna put some salsa. Sprinkle some salsa on there. I have jalapenos in mine, but you know, there's no restrictions here, no laws. So just your own self. Okay, as far as, you know, the heat is concerned. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this, because it looks ugly fork on his. Is this still good? <laughs> okay, we're going to find out. Yeah, it is. I mean, the date says it is, but yeah. Anyway, I'll put a dollop on there. Just in the very top to make it look pretty, okay? Oh, let me get rid of this. I don't want to get sour cream everywhere. Uh, guys, why didn't you tell me that I got beans splattered on me? Well, anyway, where's the... Time to eat, guys. Look at these two yummy yums. Look at that. Yum yums. Let me have my husband come get his, and then I'm gonna give it a little taste, and that will be it, you guys. Honeys. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and have a taste of my my nacho fries <laughs> with my failed nacho cheese. Well. It still tastes good, but I did get my my cheese sauce that I was thinking about. But you know what? And I just had a fry that had a little bit of that, that <laughs> cheese disaster, and it's really good. So there we go. That's what I make today. This has been my little chit chat for today, my little vlog. So you guys were happy. My husband was happy. Got himself himself a truck. We had some really good services up at that place. If you're in the Harlingen area, go hit up Isaac and uh, tell him Trisha, Texas lady sent you. 
But anyhow, everyone, I hope that you also enjoyed that little, the little clip of my grandson roaring, even though he's just making his little, little sounds. It just sounded to us like a little roar. And I hope that you enjoyed watching me, you know, fail and yet conquer because in the end, my nachos, my nacho fries came out really good. And I uh, hope you give me a big old thumbs up. I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up because this is delicious and it's still nice and warm and I want to go eat it right now, you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a nice comment down below. And thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and thank you everyone for the big old thumbs up. And of course, for all your lovely comments, hit that little notification bell. I put videos up every Tuesday and every Friday and once in a while, I have a vlog. Now, I said I wasn't going to have a video next week, meaning this type of vlog, but I will have my craft video for Tuesday. It might be a little bit late, but it'll be Tuesday. And then I will have some sort of a recipe for you for Friday. Okay? That's it, everyone. And share on your social medias. And as always, enjoy.